My name is Teresa, and this is Helen. And I'm John. And we've been asked to speak about the fruit of the Spirit of goodness. It really means, as uh, roughly translated, to seek what is best for the other. So as husband and wife, <laughs> sometimes we're better at that, sometimes we're worse. Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree. I, I once saw a quote, somebody said, that they said, every decision you make can either make you a better or a worse person. And that essentially is goodness, is always choosing the, uh, the decision that makes you into a better person. So we have to seek the good, we have to do good, and we have to avoid that which is evil. To fail to make a, a pair of the two is like trying to row a boat with just one oar. You're going to simply go in circles if you only have one oar. I think that kind of sums up goodness. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Let us not grow tired of doing good, for in due time we shall reap our harvest if we do not give up. So then, while we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, but especially to those who belong to the family of faith. Breathe into me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love only what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend all that is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. Amen.